Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Today, I am going to be unboxing my brand new uh, Stingray C8 Corvette from Traxxas. And yes, this is the first delivery. Uh, I have a nice arrangement with my local hobby shop and I actually put a down payment on this vehicle uh, when it was first announced. So Traxxas was kind enough, thank you Traxxas, to allow me to purchase the display model. Uh, and this was the very first one that just came in to the local hobby shop uh, a day or two ago, so I finally had the time to go pick it up. But uh, let me show you around the box real quick. Yes, this is a brushed system stock. Comes with some pretty cool stuff, pretty cool features. It looks good, really nice. It also comes in blue and gray. I happen to have the red one. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'm going to unwrap it off camera and put it out on display. All right, so I'm gonna snake you guys and start with the boring stuff. It's got the uh, standard TQI controller, which I am not going to use. It's just here. Um, there's your user manuals and extra parts and all this fun stuff. GM license, Corvette Stingray, yada, yada, yada. Fun stuff. But with that out of the way, ooh, look at that. Seems got a, another pinion in there. Okay, cool. Some shock tower risers to make the, the suspension a little stiffer and a couple other neat goodies in there. Don't really care about that. This is what you guys came to see. There it is. The brand new Stingray. Man, this thing is clean. I mean, this thing just looks legit. I'm gonna have to light this up, as I'm sure you probably already have guessed. Yes, I am going to need to light it up. But yeah, look at that. And underneath here, there's the clip. So we just pop this front clip. There's one clip, and then in the back, it's got the same thing. Let me see if I can get it, there it is. And with two pops of a pin, the body is off. And there's the inside. There's your light buckets. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering if it has light buckets. Yes, it does. Um, you can pull these out and I'm probably gonna modify these, maybe 3D print some uh, better light somethings. I don't know. I like the fact that it gives you options to put in fog lights. So I am definitely gonna be doing that. Um, the light buckets look like um, they're not five millimeter, um, so they're three millimeter. For those of you that want to know, that's me, so I'm telling you they're three millimeter uh, light buckets. I don't like that. I like using five millimeter, so I might have to make that a little bit bigger. There's the rear for you. So the rear has one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, it's got eight light buckets. And the option for whatever else. So that part also comes out and you can put another light in there. I don't know. And then the Traxxas um, snap-on system, which is pretty cool. I like it. I like the fact that the body looks so clean and it doesn't have holes. I mean, that just that just looks beautiful. This engine back here, really nice. And there's your chassis. There's the um, proprietary Traxxas connector, which I don't have any Traxxas battery, so I've got this guy for my XT60s or um, Dean's. But yeah, look at look at the details on these brakes. Like everything looks really nice so far. The shocks feel really nice. I like the fact that this piece of foam can come out. You can put a bigger battery in here. It looks like it should hold a um, 
5,000 milliamp cell just fine. Servo seems nice. Their 12 turn Titan motor. Yeah, the drivetrain feels pretty good. I'm probably gonna open this up in a later video. Um, but there it is, guys. So now that you've seen this, let me put this body back on. Let's see how easily it clips on. Look at that. It's already on. Wow. And it holds pretty good. I'm picking it up. And it holds really, really well. So I'm very impressed with that. And for those of you that are thinking about putting some underglow lights, I'm going to show you the bottom side. There you go. I'm going to be doing that. So you're going to have a lot of room under here for underglow lights. All the way around with the exception of this front splitter where the um, clip is. But yeah, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull out a couple of my other vehicles to show you guys a comparison in size. And um, here we go. All right, so here we are at the tail end of this video. And um, as you saw from the pictures, I got the Lightning, the Red Cat Lightning EBX. Um, this one's still brushed for right now. I'm gonna take the tops off and show you guys everything. And then I've got the, on the right here, the Kyosho uh, 2020 AMG GTR. So as you can see, the Corvette is a little bit bigger than all of them. Um, I've got the rear wheels lined up right now, and the wheels are also bigger, of course. I mean, these are uh, the stock wheels, and on here I have foams um, on the Kyosho. But man, it looks really good. I mean, I unfortunately, Red Cat, you know, the body and the styling is okay, it's cool, I like it, it's a good car, but as far as realistic looks, it's between these two right here. And once I get everything lit up the way that I want to, uh, there's light buckets in here as well. Uh, man, that's a close call, but I am really impressed with just how good this uh, Traxxas Fortec 3.0 looks. I mean, wow. And the thing I like most so far about it is no pins on the outside. Man, that just looks clean. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to mess this body up at all, but that just looks so clean. So let's, let's take a look on the inside here real quick. I've already taken the pins off of the um, other two. So let me get the pins pins. Let me get the clips off here. Let me get the, the bodies out of the way so you guys can get a get a good look underneath these vehicles. So the Kyosho I've already upgraded. It's got a, a Max 10 hobby wing system in it. Um, but look, look at the difference in the size of these. I mean, wow. Yeah, the Traxxas looks bigger than both of them. And obviously the wheels are bigger. The, the compound in the rubber feels really, really good. Um, I'm probably gonna put foams on here, but I don't even know if that's gonna work. I'm gonna have to get some big foams. I don't know. I mean, look at that. Let me line these up really good. So you can, you can see the size. Yeah, this platform is going to be amazing. And as I'm sure all of you will be doing with your uh, Fortec 3.0, this has got to go. Yeah. I might even put that in here. I don't know. I got I to gotta think about that. But this is what's going in in my Traxxas. Right here. Yep. This is a 3S set up and I've already got everything I need I've got another pinion clips for that right there and that's going in here and there's plenty of room in there for this look at that it's gonna be nice 
and I think this is going to be awesome. So stay tuned for that in an upcoming video. I'm not going to do a running video right now. I just want to get this video out and show you guys uh, the comparison between these guys. I mean, look at this body. Yeah, that's huge. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the upgrade and a, I don't know, maybe a speed run. I got to find somewhere nice. So I don't jack up this body because uh, I'm not paying 150 bucks for another one. Shoot, I might even just cover it in tape. Yeah, that might work. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, great night, whatever. And uh, catch you in the next one.